Let's talk about Robert Moses. Okay. What was the impact that he had on Bronx with the Cross Bronx Expressway project? And what was the impact he had on New York City in general? Oh, gosh. Um, I mean, the impact that Robert Moses had on the Bronx, I mean, you can literally see it with the spaghetti network of highways yeah. that were built. It was Cross Bronx. It was uh, the Deegan on uh, the other and the Sheridan Expressway, which is really wonderful for me right now. Uh, <laughs> um, although I feel like, like his, his vision of, of, um, of New York state, which was totally car centric, totally like, yeah. um, you know, he, it was, if you, if he, if you took, went back in time, like his version would have been like, you know, like 400 years ago would have been support the planner class, you know, the, the, the folks that own slaves because they were like the power brokers and that's what was important. Yeah. And so his vision, when you look at the Bronx in particular, was that it was like he was making it so to make it easier for wealthier people in points north, you know, Westchester, um, you know, to get down into Manhattan and vice versa. And it didn't matter, you know, if, you know, the you more working class people in the Bronx, you know, just were literally removed overnight, yeah. literally. And they were people of all colors. I mean, that's the other crazy thing. It wasn't just like poor black and Latino people. It was just like, there was a bunch of white neighborhoods that just were just destroyed. But to him, they didn't mean anything because they just were like, you know, working class, you know, white people, which meant that they were spit. They were lower status. Mm -hmm. So that is also really just fascinating to me. Um, but that, you know, the development of all that is, was really crazy, um, you know, in terms of how New York City is now literally structured, you know, from the, where the beaches are, like, again, getting to the beaches was, a, was, a, was the way, you know, and him lowering, you know, some of the bridges so that buses couldn't get through. So people who needed public transit weren't able to go to the beach. Yep. Just, I mean, you could not, I mean, the man is just like gross in every single way. Um, and I feel like I'm, you know, God forgive me, but you know, like my, um, the Hunts Point Riverside Park that I spearheaded was actually supposed to be another bridge, was, but it was supposed to be the terminus of another bridge that was going to be a part of the New York thruway system that never got done. Yeah. So I feel like the, the, it's transformation from a, you know, the, uh, the, the, the access way to a bridge which never got built and is now a community park is kind of awesome. Um, the Sheridan Expressway, which never also, because that was done at the very tail end of his reign of terror, yeah. um, never got finished. So it literally was like this truncated little piece of, of an interstate that literally did the same, that traveled the same exact way as a regular street. Yeah. It separated us from the river and also from, from our own community. And that's going away right now, thankfully. And that will actually be right next to my rail station, <laughs> which is so hilarious that it's yeah. literally coming down as we speak. And um, it's that, that, that on-ramp to this ridiculous highway that never should have been built in the first place is going to be a public plaza outside of the, my rail station. So I'm, I'm kind of like, sorry, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Bob. Not really. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. 